guys, I am about fed up with the nonsense. The narcissistic pulling problems straight out of your ass to feel important nonsense today is not the day. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. I already ranted about the Kamala Harris Brett Bear interview right before filming this, and yet I cannot talk about the story. I am already heated. I am already sweating because it is so dumb. It is so dumb and narcissistic. To get into this, as you guys probably know, or you're about to hear it, I am a proud former theater kid. I'm sorry, I know, but I'm sure most of you guys are not surprised, but the first musical that I ever saw on Broadway was Wicked, like many people. I have been intrigued by the new musical film that's coming out starring Ariana Grande. There's that whole story with her and one of the co-stars and breaking up marriages. We've already talked about that. There's a lot of tea that has been going on behind the scenes in this movie. So I'm interested in that, obviously. But I'm also interested because I love Wicked. But after the ridiculous story that I'm gonna tell you guys today, I literally do not think that I could bear to watch this film because the actress who was playing Alphaba, AKA the Wicked Witch, just ruined the entire thing for me and fans everywhere. And it's because she desperately wants to be a victim of racism. Oh shit. Here we go again. Before we dive into the story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the comment section channel if you've not already, and of course, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our episodes. All right, just so we are all on the same page, let's watch a little teaser of the trailer for the new film. Are people born wicked? Like undeniably cool if you love the musical. They have wickedness thrust upon them. And the production design looks sick. Something has changed. Ugh, so good. I want to hate it so much. She doesn't give a twink what anyone thinks. Also, I just want to say, there was a little moment back there where she had the hat on and there were shadows over her eyes. Remember that, because that's iconic and it is very important to what we are about to discuss. Okay, thank you. In the business, we call this foreshadowing. I'm not afraid. Ugh, it honestly looks so sick. That's the thing. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. Ugh. The woman playing Alva is an incredible, incredible singer. Now, obviously, I have been, you know, a bit skeptical. I'm a purist because I love the original musical, but I was interested. I was excited. I liked the trailer. I was happy that they hired a real Broadway star to play Alphaba, not just some like random Hollywood actress who would not be able to sing those songs because they are just incredible and iconic. But like I said yesterday, she went and ruined so much of the magic and it all started with a poster because about 10 days ago, the production released a set of posters and stills from the movie. And one of the things that they put out was a recreation of the now iconic Broadway musical poster that has obviously become synonymous with the show. Pop Bass posted about this. Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo recreate the iconic Wicked Broadway poster. And you know, people went wild and went viral. Like they were genuinely excited and pumped because everything is starting to feel real. The movie's about to come out. It looks beautiful. The production design looks amazing. The costumes look beautiful. She looks like she painted her entire body with rough greens, which is exactly what she should look like and also what my dog's faces look like every single morning after they eat their breakfast because they love their rough greens. Rough greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day, which are things that he's probably not getting from his conventional dry kibble. And rough greens is so great because you don't have to go out and do all the research and the trial and error to figure out what new dog food would work for your dogs or do the whole fresh raw diet. You can just sprinkle this on their food every single day and you can rest easy knowing that you are taking a huge leap for your dog's health. And dog owners everywhere rave about rough greens, not just because of the convenience, but because it supports healthy joints and improves bad breath, it boosts energy levels, and so much more. Obviously, we know that we are what we eat. I always feel better when I take my supplements, when I eat clean. That goes for your dogs too. And of course, it goes for your cat, which is why Dr. Dennis Black, who's the founder of Rough Greens, has now created Meow Greens for your cats. You can also try Meow Greens with one of those free Jumpstart trial bags, which you can get at roughgreens.com or by calling 877-66-MY-DOG. And these Jumpstart trial bags, whether you're getting Meow Greens or Rough Greens, can be your door in just a few business days. So if you're ready to try out either of those, go to roughgreens.com slash Brett, or again, call 877-66-MY-DOG. And then your dogs and your cats can be twinning with Alphaba, which actually would be kind of a fun promotion. Rough Greens, you should do that. But people were also pointing out that they didn't really get the recreation exactly right. And so just for fun, literally just for, you know, shits and giggles and for their own enjoyment and happiness, they edited this new movie poster to look more like the original. Just watch. Okay, they're adding the shadow, which again, we saw in the trailer, iconic, covering her eyes, very mysterious, literally in the movie, in the poster, and then they're changing the lips. And then they're editing her mouth to give her more of a smirk, which is just so 
iconic in my opinion and tells us so much about her character because you know she's not born wicked that is the entire point of the musical she's funny she's endearing and the smirk tells us that and what they did in this new poster is kind of just make her look a little more abrasive and angry and then they just moved Ariana Grande's hand up to make it look more like the original like hiding her face they added the hair that's in the original all of that basic stuff just to make it look like the Broadway poster there you go. It was for everyone's personal enjoyment. And it's, you know, harmless, right? And people liked it, you know, simply because it was what they knew. They loved that her eyes were hidden, making her more mysterious. They loved the smirk. All fine and good. Or so we thought. Now, this new version of the poster quickly made the rounds on social media, made its way to X, made its way to Instagram, with everyone sharing the same harmless sentiments. Somebody said, how is it that random people on the internet can do such better jobs than people who are actually hired and paid to do this? This is great, fantastic. Somebody else said, whoever did it, thank you, because not gonna lie, it was bothering me. Somebody said, I like it more, I don't know. Somebody else said, I love this version so much better, OMG. But someone did not like this at all. And not the photographer, not the graphic designer who made the creative choices, but the woman playing Alphaba, AKA Cynthia. Because as a black woman, it was very, very triggering to feel erased. Excuse me, what? Literally, that is what she said. This is what she posted on her Instagram story yesterday. This is the wildest, most offensive, the most offensive, guys, most offensive thing I have seen, equal to that awful AI of us fighting. They made an AI of them like fighting in the poster, was not really a big deal. Equal to the people posting the question, is your blank green? That was a meme, kind of explicit, don't need to go into that. None of this is funny. None of it is cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. The original poster is an illustration. I am a real life human being who chose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. The point of it is that you don't see her eyes because she's mysterious. The point is that she's kind of not communicating with you. Thank you very much. She goes on and she says, our poster is an homage, not an invitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes away is to erase me. And that, is just deeply hurtful. Girl, what? It is called a fan edit? People do that, they make memes, they tell jokes, they write fan fiction. That is kind of the game. If you are a public figure doing a very, very public thing, people are going to comment on it and they are going to create based on what you are doing. No, unacceptable. This is not an attack on you or your face. Like I am genuinely exhausted with this. This just screams, I'm insufferable, I'm a victim, please pay attention to me. Thankfully, very much thankfully for the state of our culture and our society, people were incredibly taken aback by this, understandably so, because again, it's not that deep. Somebody said, uh, it's not that serious, and then posted that one friend that's too woke. Somebody else said, communicate with our eyes. Meanwhile, the smile and hiding the face says way more than anything else she's telling us. True, but do not let her hear that. She will make another post directed at you. Somebody else said, if that's the most offensive thing she's ever seen, good for her, she has had a great life. Exactly. It is creating fake problems to feel more important and relevant. And all that does is just fester anger and division in our society. It is misleading. It is wrong. And it is selfish on a very, very broad scale. Rob Smith said, God, I am tired of her. She is a talent, but I am very tired of her. If I don't see this movie, it is because of her. I am so very tired of her. Same, Rob. Same. Another girl said, real Broadway stands have known that Cynthia Erivo is both insanely talented and so insufferable. Once she went off on a whole tangent about how she's too good to ever be an ensemble member because someone fan casted her as a muse in a pretend Hercules live action. Because a fan did something. Like this girl spends way too much time searching herself on X is what I am learning. It's like she's this generation's Barbara Streisand just like yelling at audiences anytime she gets. Like Cynthia seriously needs to care less about what fan edits make of her. Poop Crave posted and said, imagine you're a Wicked musical fan eagerly waiting for the movie and you just wanted to make the poster aesthetically pleasing and closer to the original just for the star to call you racist. I mean, welcome to 2024. And then last one that I just have to share because it had me rolling this morning. This guy said, go into the store, y'all want anything? Thing, a picture included so as not to erase Cynthia Erivo. <laughs> is this good enough for you, Cynthia? Are you happy? You're not being erased now. We're all staring down the barrel of your eyes everywhere I turn on social media to try and make you happy. Remember who the star is, me. Bender. The one good thing to come out of all of this is seeing that people are over the BS. Because literally four years ago, everyone who saw her post would have been on their knees repenting for their racist transgressions. Oh, I'm listening and learning, Cynthia. I'm so sorry. But now the majority of the internet, you know, had a good laugh about it, made even more jokes, and then they moved on. And that is the way that it should be. Stop feeding into these self-obsessed, victimizing theatrics, because that's really what it is. And it only hurts our culture more. Well guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.